let's talk about some injuries. Guys, T. Higgins came back to practice today. And he's good. Limited in practice, but looking good. Looking like everything is getting back to normal, which is awesome. Von Bell did pop up on the injury report as limited with a back injury. Doesn't really help out much. Also, Mike Kosicki has a calf injury. Uh, limited in practice today. Uh, we also have another injury, which is obviously Sheldon Rankins got hurt last game. He is also did not participate in practice. BJ Hill did not participate in practice because of last week's injury. Tanner Hudson is also currently out. Chris Jenkins and Amarius Mims are both limited today, so they will, you know, kind of get back in that cycle of getting back onto the field and ready to go. Again, you know, I feel like it's not Bengals season without some injuries, without some adversity going on and trying to kind of you know get through this situation but i think we'll be absolutely fine uh, we do play the commanders this week and then of course we play the panthers so you know next two weeks isn't really gonna be that tough but the, it will be very very tough when we play against the rat birds in week five with that being said let's talk about some other Bengals news so starting off right away anthony obviously the man who got caught for the passing and fear call in the end, you know, it is what it is. It was past interference. I still think it's ticky tacky. But he does claim that he is going ahead and he made his wallpaper on his phone the past interference thing. So I think the reason why, you know, it's accountability, right? But it's also kind of reminding himself like, hey, listen, I messed up. And, you know, he always wants to remind himself that, you know, hey, he has to get better and he can't let that happen. So... Definitely love that, you know, hey, listen, accountability, always good, always need to have that, and hey, listen, as a rookie, love to see it. Uh, next thing I want to talk about real fast is going to be this. I posted in my community tab, and I thought this was hilarious. So, as you can see, uh, the NFL is now selling a shirt with Cam Taylor Britt's interception, which I find hilarious because I did not know that they have ever done this before where they sell a shirt based on one play and how one play went. But you know what? I'm full heartedly for it because I think that's absolutely hilarious. Um, yeah, so the interception obviously against Xavier Worthy. You can now buy a shirt. It does say, you know, the player's number, 29. It says September uh, 15, 2024. And again, like I said, I've never seen this happen before. I've seen them, like, sell merchandise that's related around, like, you know, like a framed picture of the event. But not, like, this type of context, which, to be honest, I'm all for it. You know, listen, uh, if you want to celebrate that interception, which is one of the best interceptions we have seen in a very long time, then, you know what, I am all for that completely. Overall-wise, again, you know, practice today was... It is what it is. Bengals offensive linemen go through sled drills. There's a very hot day for practice. And it is. Um, for the first time uh, since September 5th, Jamar Chase and T. Higgins both on the field stretching, ready to practice Thursday. And again, like I said, I don't think we need to rush T back today. Um, so, for example, if, you know, we're like, hey, listen, he's really close to being back 100%. But he just can't play in this Commanders game. I'm kind of okay with that. Um, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of... I, I don't know how I feel about these next two games. Because, again, we're going to win these next two games. But the Commanders have Jaden Daniels, who's a mobile quarterback. He's very fast. Great get out of the pocket. Great to run, you know, move around. Which kind of does scare me a tad bit. And then we play Andy Dalton. That's right. They benched... Uh, Bryce Young, so now Andy Dalton is their quarterback. So we play the Red Rifle again, which God is getting scrap out of me, man, because like, oh, we're bringing back the Red Rifle. And the reason why I'm uh, kind of scared about that is not because of Andy Dalton. It's whenever a quarterback gets, uh, whenever there's a quarterback change or a head coach change, the first couple weeks, or the first week especially, but the first couple weeks usually, things go very well for that team very very well because it's the first you know quarterback change is the first everything that happens so that's what a little bit scares me is just the fact that you know Andy Dalton's gonna look really good for the first couple weeks with that being said guys make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you are indeed new and overall wise 
It is what it is.